YouTube, what's poppin'? It's your boy Charm. It is Thursday morning, a little bit after 5 a.m. I'm out here in the yard. <clears throat> My first day with a trainer. We're just waiting to leave. We had some issues with our trailer, so we have to switch the trailer out. Uh, unfortunately, we got to pull everything out of one trailer and load it into another, but it's all good. You know, I'm, I'm glad this happened on the first day the first day of training you know so i know what to do in case this ever happens to me in the future but yeah it's your boy char i just wanted to check in with y'all let y'all know what was going on my trainer seemed like he was a real cool dude he's been here about 26 years uh so he knows a lot he's already complaining about working a six day on saturday but hey you know it is what it is so he said they're really busy here right now everybody's getting a lot of hours getting a lot of money so but it's your boy Charm. I just wanted to check in real quick. I'm about to go in here and help unload this trailer. Uh, I'll get back with you guys here in a little bit. Okay, YouTube. It's a little bit. It's about 15 minutes to 12 noon. We have just finished our 12th stop. Now, things started out a little crazy this morning. Like I said, we had to switch trailers. And then since we moved our stuff and switched trailers, the, uh, the, uh, the hand trucks didn't get put back into the trailer so we actually had to call back and have a, a, another driver that's on light duty meet us with our hand trucks um our first stop was the airport and i think we had about it was just there were six different places all in that one stop so that took it didn't take long for two of us Things are actually going pretty good. We're moving pretty fast. I think we're moving a lot faster than he would like. But, hey, I try to explain to him. I'm a worker. I'm not just going to stand around and watch. You know what I'm saying? Now we on to our next one. I'm going to holler at y'all a little bit later. You too, we back. My day is over. As you can see, I'm in the car. I'm headed to the crib, man. I finished at 4 o'clock. Now, we started at 4.30. I finished at 4 o'clock, so 11 and a half hours. Now, we did have to wait 15 minutes this morning for the maintenance guy to come tell us that our trailer door was messed up and we couldn't take the trailer. So after that 15 minutes, it took us another hour just to move the stuff over So to a different trailer. So we started the day off over an hour and a half behind. But we ended the day over an hour and a half ahead. So we made that up and then some. Now, um, <laughs> we did have an incident today where some blue cheese that fell over, a case of blue cheese that fell over and spilled all over the floor. And another case of Frank's Red Hot also, you know, uh, broke and went all over the floor. So the whole back of the trailer smelled like hot wings. You know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not playing, I'm not playing. Yeah, I thought, we got hot wings in the trailer? What? What? We had a wing spot? I'm gonna have to go in here and grab something to eat. Nah, we opened the trailer up all the way, and it's it's all over the it's all over the trailer floor. Blue cheese and Frank's Red Hot. You know, <laughs> I, I, that's that's the only thing. The only other incident that happened today besides the trailer door. Um, my trainer, he's been there 26 years. The guy knows what he's talking about. He knows what he's doing. He made it seem real easy and real simple. Um, I, I know once I get out on my own, it's probably not that easy and probably not that simple. He just made it seem that way. Uh, so, like, digging for your cases ain't as complicated as a lot of people made it seem. You know, I thought it was going to be like you got to climb over pallets and dig straight down to China and all this kind of stuff. No, no, you don't have to do all that. You simply pull that one pallet out away from the wall and then you look for your sticker you look for your case you might be able to see it from the outside and, and if you can you could just you might be able to just slide that case out without having to dig but even if you do have to dig you know where that exactly where that case is at you can just take the boxes off the top of that off the top of that one case but when you take those boxes off to the side, instead of just throwing them off to the side, sort them, put 
stop 10 here, stop 11 here, stop 12 here. That way when you get, do get to those stops, they're already sitting there, you know, sorted and waiting for you. You don't have to go through that path, through the whatever's left on that pallet to try to find those cases because you already got them out. You feel me? That's the fast and easy way to go about digging for your cases. Um, as far as ramping, we, our truck had a lift gate. We use the lift gate the majority of the time. We did do some ramping and I, coming down the ramp with like a heavy load of chicken, at first it was a little uh, crazy, but then I realized, hey, this thing got brakes on it. Once I started, you know, using the brake, and then the things got a lot, got a lot better. Towards the end of the day, man, I was running across the parking lot with dollies full of fully loaded. You know, towards the end of the day, confident. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think for me, the most part, I think probably the toughest part is going to be uh, going to these restaurants and figuring out. A lot of them is going to be figuring out, okay, how should I park in here? And then it's going to be, okay, where do I need to go in here? Because we had one restaurant. I swear there was only like one person in there that spoke English. So uh, at first I didn't know where to go. And then when the one guy spoke up, oh, it goes over here. Okay, gotcha. Because I was asking, they just looking at me like, see? <laughs> okay? No. So anyways, <laughs> yeah, that's how that went. But, you know, like I said, it's it's a nice day out, man. It's just now going on 5 p.m. and I'm off work already. I'm headed back home. You know, I got I got other stuff to do. Me and the girl headed up to Cleveland to celebrate her birthday, going to the uh, to the improv. Uh, to see a comic, I don't know. I, I don't even actually know who it is, but we gonna have fun anyways. So, um, yeah, if y'all wanna y'all wanna hop on over to IG at Charmed Life three three zero Charmed underscore Life three three zero, will we be posting pictures and videos of us at the Improv and just hanging out with our friends later on? Y'all wanna go over there and check that out? Feel free. To, the the page is not private. It is a public page. Just go over there and check it out. Like a couple of pictures. Do whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh. Right now, right now, go over and watch the video on that Cisco $10,000 sign-on bonus. Go over and like that video, man. Go over and watch the video on the WeHour program on how to get a free CDL, how to get free, uh, free trade school training, period. You know, you could use that WeHour grant for uh, a lot of stuff to go to back to school for. It'll pay for all of it. I'm telling me, I'm telling you, nothing out of your pocket. I did it. That's how I got my CDL completely free. Go over, watch that video, like that video, share that video. Other people need that video. They need this information because this information is not, that information is not readily available. They don't promote it. Okay. Okay. So we got to promote it. We got to pay it forward. Everybody deserves to have a good paying job. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead, watch that video, like that video, and share that video. Also, man, subscribe to the channel. Just It's free. You know, and y'all can follow me on my little trucking journey. Y'all can sit here and listen to me ramble about dumb stuff. You know what I'm saying? And laugh and crack jokes. Hey, crack jokes on my teeth. Whatever. Whatever the case may be. Um, Just subscribe, man. And if y'all got any uh if y'all got any questions, feel free to ask them down in the comments section. I've done OTR, local, regional. I've driven dry vans, reefers, flatbeds, end dumps. I've done I've hauled coils, I've hauled heavy loads, I've hauled oversized ingots. I'm sorry, heavy ingots. I've I've hauled oversized I beams. Come on, man. Y'all got a question? Ask me about it. If I, if I don't have the answer, I will get the answer for you. I will get it for you. I will definitely find that answer for you. I will I will not stop until I find that answer for you if you have a question for me. Ask anything. That's why I'm bald. I don't care. I don't care. Just do it. Just subscribe, man.
I'm going to holler at y'all later because I'm about to get off my exit and go to the crib. It's your boy, Char. I'm out. Peace.